Okay, we're back in the workshop for some more creative therapy. In this video we're going to continue with the die filer and we're going to install the input drive shaft. So I've gone ahead and made the drive shaft. So this is a half inch silver steel. Put a couple of keyways in. This end will have the pulley which will connect to the electric motor. And this end has the, uh, the gear. Which fits on there. Gear fits really lovely. There's virtually no player there at all. Just perfect. So this will slide on this shaft to engage a high gear or a low gear. So I've made a bearing for this side. Fits on there. There will also be a collar which will have an oil seal in, which will go on there. And on the other end we have a bearing cap to go on there. So the bearings are just sintered bronze or oil light bushes, a light press fit into their housing. So the next job is to fit the bearings both sides. Now ideally I should have had a spot face on here like I have with this hole, but I didn't really have the tooling to do it. So I've made a bush, so that bush is a nice fit in there, I lock tight that in, but I put some uh, JB Weld on the back of that flange just to fill the gap and then we can line that up with the bearings at both sides and uh, let it sit. So I've got my discs prepared with the JB Weld, put some Loctite in the bowl, push it in Same on the other side. Drop the shaft in. Drop the bearing in. Drop the bearing in. Line it all up. Push it all together. Okay, we'll just let the JB Weld set, give it a day.
So I had a bit of a senior moment again. I drilled this one three millimeters for a three millimeter thread. So I've opened it up to five millimeters. And I'm just going to lock tight in a threaded bush. That should be fine. No one will know. Okay, I've got the shaft installed. Put in the gear. So the gear slides. So this is actually upside down, so if I turn it around. Put in the main gear. Fit the screw. Okay, so it looks like the mesh very nice. Turn it upside down. Change gear. 